One of London's favorite literary haunts is the infamous French House, a bohemian speakeasy style pub in London's Soho. It is a great place to visit as it contains paintings of many of its famous patrons and has changed very little from the time it was established as a pub in the early 1900s. It was actually started in the mid-1800s as a gin parlor, but in 1914 it became a wine bar before it became its current incarnation. It is most likely the popular meeting place for poets, critics, and artists because of its interesting history. The pub derives its name from the fact that it was the meeting place of the French resistance during World War II. It was frequented by Charles de Gaulle and the Free French Forces, kicking off its rich history. Later, the French house was patronized by such people as the Irish writer, Brendan Bion, who wrote many of his plays and books there, that is, when he was not serenading the other customers. Perhaps more importantly, the French house was a favorite spot of Welsh poet Dylan Thomas's. He used to sit at a back table drinking and writing. It is said that after a particularly heavy night of drinking, Thomas left the pub, leaving behind him a copy of his poem, Under Milk Wood. The owner, Gaston Bermont, kindly held on to it until it was rescued the next day. These days, the French house has an extremely loyal and die-hard following. If anything were to change about the pub, there would be great dissension and grumbling from the clientele. People hardly need to worry about that happening, though, as the spirit is preserved in every aspect of the place and is unlikely to change. What is happening is that this pub that patrons wish to remain their own, somewhat invisible secret, is becoming more popular and a hot tourist spot. There are still the regulars who patronize the pub, but more and more tourists are moving in.